What's up everybody, Ramey here, and today we're talking about what's the deal with the rib sleeves on these barbells. You know, you pull your, oh, you pull your weight off and you hear that awful, awful, terrible sound of the sleeve just getting rubbed against the steel if you're using a steel plate. So what's the deal with these rib sleeves? Um, why do certain barbells have rib sleeves and others have straight? Um, I did a bunch of research on this topic to try to figure out exactly what's going on. Um, right here in front of me is a rib sleeve barbell. This is a Rogue deadlift bar. Um, in fact, all or most of the Rogue barbells have them. I got an Ohio bar up here that has rib sleeves. I've used the Rogue Power, or Power bar. I've used the Rogue 2.0. All have rib sleeves um, and then certain barbells do not so why is that what's the difference um, so I found a few reasons why they have them um, and let's kind of talk about it. so the first thing about the rib sleeves is what do they do well one of the things they do is I already demonstrated is they make this terrible noise especially when you're using like iron plates um, I usually put bumper plates on my barbell and I don't really have that many irons. There's a 35 pound right there, but it makes a terrible sound. And even high quality weights, I've seen people complain about very high quality plates that weights that they put on and it makes a, a terrible loud screeching sound on your bar. Um, generally with bumpers with steel inserts, it doesn't make such a loud noise that's unbearable. I've got rogue fleck plates. When I put those on, it doesn't really make a lot of noise, but it's still, it's a noise versus straight. So the first thing that happens with, with nice smooth versus these rib sleeves is there's a noise. All right, so the first thing. So a bad, a bad thing about the rib is a noise. All right, um, the next question that people usually ask and a feature of the rib sleeves is that some people claim that the rib sleeves cause the weights to stick on the bar better or cause your uh, little grip here to actually stick on the bar better. Uh, and then there are other people that say that the rib sleeves actually make the weight move faster on the bar um, and actually move smoother. And there's some conflicting information out there about this. The rationale behind it is people say that the because it's ribbed, there's less surface area, which means the plate, the flat surface of the plate, the inside of the plate, can now slide much better. The other counter argument to that is no, the, uh, the ribs act like grooves and actually prevent the plate from moving, and that's why you hear that awful sound when you slide them on and off. Um, I did a bunch of research on this to try to figure out what was the right answer. And I saw lots of people using physics and science to explain both of the phenomena. Um, I also saw some very high level, either organizations or people say the complete opposite. For example, Rogue customer service has specifically told people that the rib sleeves help the plate stay on better. Um, and then people out there like Mark Ripito have said, no, that's not true. It makes them go on easier. The rib, the smooth sleeves help them stay on better. So I tried to figure out what's the right answer here. So the only thing I could really do was test it out myself and try to see what I found. So what I did is I took a couple of my bars with smooth sleeves, took a couple of my bars with rib sleeves, and I like would put the weight on and see how easy it was to like push around and move off. Um, I used both metal plates and I used rubber change plates because that's really what people are going to look at. I figure those are the two things that really test. And to be honest with you, I couldn't really tell a difference. Sometimes I'd like hit the plate and it would just move a lot. And other times I'd hit the plate and it really wouldn't move. And that happened on both smooth sleeves and rib sleeves. So whether or not it actually makes a huge difference I don't think ribbed versus smooth make a huge difference on whether the plate moves a lot. I think it has a lot to do with kind of what happens. Like if you tilt to a side or the way that you move, I think is going to affect where the plate moves on or off a lot more than rib sleeves or smooth sleeves. But I don't know scientifically since I saw both people describe 
it scientifically, and I also I'm seeing like pretty high level people or you know rogue describe it kind of the opposite from one another. I don't know we have a definitive answer as to whether they actually stop or not. But in my tests, I really couldn't tell a difference. In fact, it almost seemed like certain barbells, it slid on and off easier regardless of it being ribbed or not. And I wonder if that kind of has to do with the diameter of the sleeve itself versus the actual rib or smoothness of it. So I think that's like kind of a mystery remains to be seen. I honestly don't think that makes too much of a difference because most of the time we're using collars anyway on our barbells, um, unless we're putting on like change plates, which don't really move that much anyway. Um, so I don't think that makes too much of a difference. And I also don't think a lot of us are even using change plates on our barbells unless we're really trying to max things out. Um, I think a lot of us are just you know, kind of putting our weight on anyway, so, and using collars. So that, that having said that, the next argument for or against these rib sleeves is cost. And do these make a more expensive barbell or do these make a cheaper barbell? And I found, I only found people arguing, who actually knew what they were talking about, arguing for the fact that rib sleeves are a cheaper process. Um, I, the, the founder and owner of American Barbell on the Reddit, as well as on um, the Discord has stated many times uh, that they make it cheaper. And also I have a quote from Mark Ripito, which I'm gonna post up on the screen here so you can see what that is um, as I'm talking about it. But basically what Mark, the way Mark explains it is that the ribs, these grooves, are part of the machining process, um, and the grooves are created in the barbell. And if you wanted to smooth out the sleeve, it's another step in the process, which would A, take longer, and B, cost more money, because you couldn't produce as many barbells per day in the machine. So like, just as an example, if I'm, and I'm completely making these numbers up, if you were creating with rib sleeves, let's say your machine could create 100 barbells per day, um, with smooth sleeves, you might only be able to create 60 barbells per day. I'm making those numbers up. But just to give you an idea that you couldn't make as many as quick. Um, so, what does that mean? Well, what does all this mean, kind of? Um, it means that it really seems like there's probably the only advantage to having ribbed sleeves on a barbell. It appears. Uh, at least that I can find, is there's a chance that it could help the plates, prevent the plates from slipping? Maybe, we don't know that. And B, it allows the company to sell their barbells a little cheaper. I don't know how much cheaper, but it definitely allows them to sell them for cheaper. So what's worthwhile? Um, personally, the rib sleeves drive me crazy. A, because I had never seen rib sleeves until I bought a rogue barbell. Um, and I was like, what the heck is this? I've only seen regular sleeves. Why would I want this? Um, B, I don't care. I don't know for definitively if these help these per from sliding or not because of the physics and the way people are explaining surface area um, and me testing it, I couldn't tell a difference. Um, and that's not something I would care about anyway because I use collars on my barbells. So I could care less about it being a little, I, I, and I really, really, really hate the noise because like I do have five pound plates that are iron that make a huge sound and even my change, my Rogue Flex make a noise when I put them on this thing and it just doesn't feel smooth as I put it on. And I really, really hate that. But having said that, is it more cost effective and how much? Like if it was only $50 more to have a barbell that had straight, like nice flat, then all of a sudden I wouldn't want these ribs. But if it's if they were like, hey, it would double the price of the barbell to have to do that, all of a sudden I'm getting the rib sleeve version. Um, so I, I overall, it doesn't appear that there's really any advantage to this except maybe a cost savings. And I don't know if that cost savings is worth it to people when we're talking about a barbell you want to have for the rest of your life. Um, I'd much rather spend another $50 to $100 on a barbell that I'm going to keep for the rest of my life um, to have the smooth sleeves. 
Um, having said that, I like to buy lots of barbells. I've been buying more. I got a bunch on my list to, to want, and the cheaper I can get them, the better. Like I bought this deadlift bar row boneyard. Um, this bar in particular, my deadlift bar, I'll take the rib sleeves to save money on it. So like, you know, it's one of those things where yes, it does mean the sleeves are a little cheaper than the smooth. They were, they were not as, that doesn't mean quality. It just means less expensive. Um, so yes, on the, the probably on the highest end barbells like the Alicos, I know they're smooth sleeves. I know the American Barbell highest ones are smooth sleeves. So on those high end barbells, you're definitely seeing smooth sleeves, but the rib sleeves just don't appear bad. It just seems like the only reason they're really there is a cost savings, at least from what I can tell. Um, I would love to see some definitive tests. I'm not even sure how you would test it. Um, to make sure that, to test whether these really keep the bar on or not. Um, I almost feel like you need like a special machine to like move the exact same way with the exact same bar that has the exact same diameter to really test if it's gonna make them smooth or not. Uh, or I mean, keep the, keep the weight plates on when someone's lifting. Because even just using different bars can mean slight, even a 0.01 millimeter difference in a barbell sleeve diameter could make a difference whether it's gonna move quicker or not. Um, but that's kind of my take on the rib sleeve. I did a bunch of research. I've been researching this topic since I bought this bar two years ago, so I've done a lot on it. Um, I've heard from the experts. I've read what companies are saying. This is definitely easier to make them groove. It's definitely cheaper to make them groove. It keeps costs down, but it's definitely not as quality. Because um, it really, I don't think it does anything. All right, y'all, let me know what you think. Do you like, does anyone like grooves? Is anyone like, you know what? If I had a choice at the same price between grooved and, and smooth, I would choose groove. I want to know if there's anyone out there that would actually do that, because I don't think there is. Um, I mean, I'm sure there is, but it's got to be a small minority of people. So anyway, later, everybody.